Today is the day that we've been waiting for. Today is the day that they are getting moved into the Amazon area. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! What the <laughs> This is how my friends work. <laughs> Dropping around. Oh, 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 oh. I need a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah. What is going on Blake's Exotic and a Ranch Ranch fam? How are you guys doing? Today is the day that you guys have been waiting for. You guys have been asking me so much on how are the capybaras doing on the ranch. The capybaras are doing amazing, you guys. Today is the day that we've been waiting for. Today is the day that they are getting moved into the Amazon area. They are getting introduced into a massive enclosure, almost 150 by 60 feet long, massive land area and a giant, giant pond that we dug out, the tar water pond. It's absolutely insane. It's gonna be great. We are making a giant shed for them as well. You're gonna follow along and see the whole process. My buddy Dylan Saunders is gonna be here as well, helping me out. You guys seen him in other videos. He's gonna help me build this uh, shed. Actually, it's the same exact shed that we built for the leopard tortoises. This is a temporary enclosure just so we can move them over there. I didn't wanna spend so much money onto a big giant house for them right now because I need to focus. I need to, fo there was a wasp. I need to focus on the big giant building and get those fish over there before stay tuned. Put those post notifications on you guys. Not letting you guys know about that. But again, come over here. Look, we got them working already. Oh, whoa, whoa! What's up? <laughs> this is how my friends work. This is how my friends work. <laughs> Look at you need a bigger wheelbarrow, buddy. What is this? <laughs> what are you doing? You're trying to get my it. goodness. Well, I, was, I didn't know Jalen was here either. Jalen's here. Dylan's here. What is this? Um, I tried to get it in. The <laughs> this is what we have right here. Big old horizontal shed that we have right here. Just gonna be perfect for the weather. So when it gets cold out here, when it's really hot, they could go inside of it. Well, hot is really not gonna be the issue because there's a lot, a lot of shade over there. But more off of if they won't wanna get wet and things of that sort, they could go inside of there even though they love the water. But I'm still giving them the option to get out of the wind, the rain, things of that sort because it's always very, very crucial to have <laughs> it's very very crucial to have a shelter for all your animals so this is a definitely a four-sided shelter without a doubt and there goes our buddy right there always having a knife on him doing his job Bring doing good it. so let's load this thing on there and head all the way to the amazon area and set this enclosure up and then move the capybara and introduce them and see how they interact into this area when we walk over i'll show you some different changes that are over there as well so let's do it dylan all right oh uh, how do you want me to lift this thing from know. the bottom and put it flat on here all right you hold the wheelbarrow then I don't know how I'm gonna lift this. Low key. I would help, but. Inky, baby. Alright, ready? Mm. Ready? What? Ah! Oh, sideways. Right on. Sideways, right on, sideways, right on, sideways, right on, sideways, right on. sideways, sideways. Feels just like this. We're gonna hold it. We're good. Alright, so, alright, Dylan, follow it back. Jalen, you pull. Dylan, just stay on the side so it doesn't fall over. And I will see you guys in the Amazon area. Oh, off the work we go. Don't lose the freaking wagon. Alright, girls. Boys and girls, gentlemen and ladies, we're on the way to the Amazon. I will see you guys there. Keep on moving. All right, load her up. You gotta go wider, bro. There you go. Probably build it right here. All right, right here, good. Dropping her oh, out. Oh, 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 oh. You're good. So I've told you guys many, many times that this is going to be the area where we wanted to put the enclosure and it is the spot. So like I said, the house is gonna be right here. It's absolutely gonna look really, really small right here, but there is no spot that is a full shelter. But as you guys can see, if they wanna get out of the sun, they can. There's shade all in that back area over there. The water has no shade right now during this time of the day because it's midday. But for the rest of the day, shade all day long. They have a giant bamboo tree, stuff all around with outer palm. It's really, really good. But one thing that you guys see different here, the weeds, the grass, everything here has absolutely took in off. It is very, very tall. Look at this, you guys. So these capybara are gonna be able to graze and eat as much as they want. There are turtle, uh, like highways through here. It's absolutely insane, all through here, all over the place. I went around just one more time to make sure that this whole enclosure is 100% sealed up and good for the capybaras. 
and it is ready to go. So it's gonna be really, really awesome to see the capybaras inside of here. We're gonna see some awesome trails in here as well. And Missy now is gonna have a friend. Missy, if you guys didn't know, is my beautiful Cape Bearing Goose over there from Australia. And she's doing absolutely great. She completely turned into matured colors. All right, you guys, so you guys are gonna get a montage real quick. We might throw the drone up in the air too today as well. It's a little windy, but uh, we might do it. But let's build this house, you guys, get this thing going, and then get the capybaras inside the Amazon area. So let's do it. So as you guys see, everything is out of the box. The box over there, all the materials over there. The floor is a little uneven here, but we'll fix that afterwards. So the bottom is only about four by six and a half feet long, but for two adult capybaras to sit in there to stay out of a rainstorm here in South Florida is perfect without a problem. And like I said earlier, this enclosure is literally, so my barn is 65 by 30 feet long. My barn gets sit inside of here without a doubt. So this is probably, airplane. So the barn could fit in here without a doubt. I'm thinking it's as wide as probably 45 to 50 feet wide and easily 80 to 100 feet long. So with my estimations, whatever, this is a very, very large cage for the capybaras for exactly one pair. They're right over there hiding right now and they're gonna absolutely love this place. They're gonna be able to run as fast as they can, swim in giant ponds and live the best life here on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. But while they're still over there watching us, like what is going on? We are gonna set all this up and keep on working, you guys. Dylan, you think it's gonna be hard? Nah. Easy? Yep. You build anything? I can build anything. You can build anything. You can follow him on Instagram at... Oh, what am I doing? What's your Instagram? Oh, diesel underscore Dylan. Diesel underscore Dylan. It'll be, on the, it'll be right there. Fuck it. <laughs> I need a screwdriver. You need a what? A screwdriver. What kind? The one with the star, the Phillips. The star ones? Yeah, Phillips. Not the flathead? No, Phillips. All right, I will get it. Okay. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, tour guide here through the Amazon. Yeah. All right, you guys. So one really cool thing about this enclosure is that it's literally like weather tight, as in it's not gonna go bad in the sun at all, and it's gonna last a really long time. And it's only gonna be here for a few months. <laughs> it's only gonna be here for a few months. And once we're done with this enclosure, what it's gonna go for, it's gonna go for another species of tortoise, like I have the leopard tortoises. Who knows, maybe for start, I don't know. In the future, we'll use it for something else, so it won't go bad, we won't have to throw it away. And it's great, so we can just reuse it for another animal. What? Can you push the bottom? Towards push the bottom. There? Yeah. Dylan's like screwing things in, so. I like screwing things. So that's his job down there. And I just help him put it in spots and everything. So that's the thing. If you guys are enjoying today's video right now, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And let's break. How many likes do you think we should break today, Dylan? What do you think we could do? 30. 30? 30,000? 30, yeah. 30, yeah. I've got, I got some faith in them. 30,000. I've got faith in you, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. Make sure you freaking donkey kick that to the damn sky. All right? Right now, subscribe. Business in the front, party in the back. Kenny Powers. Oh yeah, J Red. Kenny Powers. <laughs> you guys know J Red. Kenny Powers. <laughs> and like I said, you guys, these guys get very, very large, but they sleep pretty much on top of each other at night. I've watched them without a doubt. And like I said, this enclosure is just a temporary, small little thing, so I could get them out of that and start showing you guys them a lot more because I really don't like showing them inside of that enclosure. That was just a temporary enclosure so that they bond to me, made sure they're not sick, made sure that they're happy, make sure that they're good from any kinds of parasites, diseases, things of that sort, and they're doing A1, they're doing good. Exactly, it was a quarantine over there. So yeah, so now we have another little cage right here. But again, this cage would be great for a future thing, for tortoises and things of that sort. We're almost done, right Dylan? Almost. All right, cool. Roof time. All right, guys, so we're just about half of where I'm not even doing anything. Dylan likes to build stuff, so he's helping out, and I'm learning from him. But, um, J Red 6 over here says 69. 69, 6, I don't even know, whatever. His <laughs> Instagram is there. He's J leaving because he's he's hot, you guys. So he was also want to be part of the ranch today. So, bye, bro. Have a have a good day. I'm going back to Africa. <laughs> All right, see you later. So, as I was saying earlier, guys, as you can see, Dylan fits in here without a doubt. I could go inside of here without a doubt Probably wait are you calling me fat no i'm not calling you fat oh, i'm just saying that we're full-size human beings oh. and the capybara is going to be twice not well, we're twice the size of the capybaras and we fit in here without a doubt i mean low key if we really wanted to we could both chill here can we cuddle 
We're not cuddling. Aww. But we can stay in here without a problem, stay out of the rain without a situation. So this is perfectly fine for the capybaras. Like I said, they like the rain, they like to get wet. But I always have to give the option for all my animals to have a three-sided shelter without a doubt. And this is definitely one, two, three, and the roof. And it's actually going to be almost four because there's going to be a door here. So it would be completely closed in. They could get out of the wind and all of that sort without a problem. But in the near future, like I've said, we're going to be building a full-on little run-in barn. Just like how something is over there. So it all matches and everything looks real nice. Because obviously this is not hurricane proof. So if there was a hurricane, it would just fly away so i would want something that is more secured and stronger for the capybara so that they're safe through hurricanes but for any other storm here in south florida it's perfect but if there was a hurricane you guys i do have designed special areas for almost all of my animals here on the ranch to go inside crates containers boxes things of that sort to get put away inside of a hurricane shelter just in case there was a big giant disaster of some sort and they'll be safe and sound so yeah just letting you guys know Thank you, Dylan. No problem, no problem. Finished the whole little shed right here. It is completely done. So, look at this, perfect, it's beautiful, ready to go. We're gonna take all these boxes out, clean the whole area, make sure there's no screws, everything's safe and sound, ready for the capybaras to join their new area. And um, it's about to be crazy. So let's see how it is. This is gonna be the first time actually moving them out of there. I've opened them up, I'll explain that when we get that way. But uh, let's move everything out and let's set it up so we can move the capybaras. Finally, you guys, inside of their massive enclosure. So let's do it. I think we're swimming. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna go swimming. All right guys, so that's the door to open it up. We're gonna move these bricks right here so we have a nice clean way to walk them right through. I really don't wanna capture them right now. I was thinking about capturing them. To be honest, when I got these animals, I didn't even check if they're 1000% a pair. The guy said they were a pair. I really think the bigger one is the male and the smaller one is the female. They're not fighting, they're really happy with each other. But uh, I don't want to catch them right now and check them out because we are moving them right now and it's going to give them a little bit of stress to move them over there and it might scare them a little bit. What? A flatworm. What is that? A flatworm. Interesting. Yeah, that looks like a leech. No, it's a flatworm. All right. All right. Um, so, <laughs> so what we're going to do is I have this mesh right here and I'm going to actually, Dylan, come on the other side of the mesh, please. So go inside the cage real quick. Thank you. So I'm going to put this, you guys, right here. Right? So now we have a little divider, so all they have to do is come through this way. So what the plan is, I'm gonna walk in there. They're used to jumping out of that enclosure without a doubt because they've run through here all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that up all the way and Dylan's gonna stand over there and then Dylan behind the camera is gonna be right here. Watch him jump through and then he's gonna run that way, open that gate and he's gonna follow him going that way. So that is the plan. Take two, because uh, Dylan was on his phone. That's what happens when people are on their phones. That's why we don't text and drive. Back up. All right, Dylan, that one's going. He's good. Let him go. All right, well, that one has entered the location. We have one door coming right now. How's that one looking, Dylan? Uh, he's about to go for a swim. All right. All ready. We'll keep it up. We have a female coming right and left. You got it. You got it. I'm going to keep my eyes on the female over here. Oh, uh, yeah, the male's taking a dip. exactly what they like to do right into the pond look at that you guys their first swim inside of the river inside of their amazon look at that you guys that is absolutely insane look at them swim first swim this is really 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 cool you saw that fish jump out of the water yeah. oh look that was a goldfish that's funny first swim. thing two is over there she's gonna go find him right now and look at that you guys the capybaras are in their enclosure this is freaking awesome. They're like practically wild now. Look, the male's over there. He's looking around, searching around. The female's right there. This is great. This is awesome. So let's just walk over here. I don't want to chase them around. I don't know. I'm just going to walk over there and see how they're doing. This grass is really tall. Look, he's already eating, grazing. They got so much grass to look. Look at the male. Looking over the side. He's like, let me see. Of course, all animals don't know why. You give them giant, massive cages all the time. And they always have to try to figure out a way out because enough is never enough for them 
and I, I don't know why, but that's always happened with any animals. But this enclosure, Dylan, you think this enclosure is big enough for them? Plenty big. Plenty big. <laughs> it is massive. But look at her climbing up the rocks. They have all different types of obstacles. So like, they, get, they have rock spots, mud spots, green spots. I mean, this enclosure is A1. Perfect. And look at that. The grass is so tall. They're going to have trails all... They're going to be at so fat, you guys. Look at this. This grass is absolutely insane. They have so much grass that they're going to mow down. Here, can we walk this way a little more? It's like a meadow. Oh, look. I didn't even see that one. Look at that. They were just right there in the grass. Insane, you guys. Thing one, thing two. You guys are going to live the life out here, huh? <clears throat> you guys are like, I'm in the jungle now. That's awesome, you guys. I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. We finally have the capybaras inside of their enclosure. The pond is a little low right now. The water hasn't filled up because it hasn't rained. <clears throat> There's still a few little things we have to do here, but this enclosure is ready to be for them. There's another gate going to go there, just a little bit taller, and there will be a very, very large piping that will be in here as well to have the water at level throughout the whole entire year, like times like right now when the water is a little low. But um, other than that, you guys, thing one and thing two are inside of the enclosure. I am more than stoked and happy that they are here you guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video give this video a thumbs up put those post notifications on so you guys get updated videos on seeing this guys grow up and everything look at them just following each other dylan did an amazing job of building that house over there even though like i said look how much shade they have so you guys see they already walked their whole enclosure walking the fence line over there you can't even see them insane look at that they're so low, the grass is so tall, you guys, but I didn't want to cut it. I just left it like this because I wanted it to be as natural as it can be for them. When they're full size, you'll be able to see them a little more, but you can't see them. You can't see them. They're gone in there, but they're going to be able to graze all the grasses in here. It is perfect, exactly how I wanted, but um, the enclosure right here, locked up, ready to go, perfect for them. They could go in here if they would like to. I doubt they will, but it was just an option for them, and they're looking amazing, you guys. I'm more than stoked and happy that they're, oh, they're ready to go in the pond again. They're gonna go in the pond again. Come, come, come. Look, look, look. They're gonna go in the pond again. Both of them are looking at the pond. It's all right, you guys. If you go in the water, it's a big pond for you guys. <clears throat> That's thing one, the female. She's walking in right now. She's checking it out. Don't bite that tree, girl. Don't bite that tree. Uh-oh. I want to see her dive in. I want to see her put that head underneath the water. Let's see if she does it. Look at that, you guys more natural than natural complete swimming without a doubt and the water is low you guys so imagine when it's filled up to the top look at her eating the mud other ones coming in oh my god look at this you guys both of them are inside of swimming they could do full-on strokes in there the pond legally for sizes here in florida for these exotic animals don't have to be this big i made it three times the size i made their enclosure five times the size i made everything bigger and better for them. they're actually swimming that is so cool look at them they're wow that's so cool you guys look at them down there you guys okay over there so what i'll do for more enrichment things and everything for them as well is i've got big heads of romaine lettuce throw it out in the water so it'll be like water lettuce for them and they'll be able to eat that i mean look at them look at them they're literally gonna swim in they're gonna be in there so much they love the water you guys they love it i am gonna have one area i'm gonna get an automatic water from them it's going to be getting put all around in here for them as well so they always have water to drink fresh clean water just in case they don't want to drink from here but um, if they were in the Amazon, in the Brazil, stuff like that sort, they have natural little ponds that they keep colonies at and they'll stay just like this. So this would be their home forever. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Missy. This is first time Missy's seeing the capybaras. Let's you see what happens. Right? Missy, okay? You be nice. He might, she might chase him down because this has been her closure for a long time. See what happens. Uh-oh. Oh, he might bite her. Missy's a really, really aggressive goose, but they'll become friends. Don't worry. Look, she's following him along. Wow, this is so free. Oh, 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 told you. Told you, Missy's gonna chase him around a little bit, but they'll be fine. They'll be able to hold the ground without a doubt. But this, I'm, I sit down here, you guys, for probably an hour every day, evening times, because I just love this pond, watching the fish, the turtles, everything in here. Now that we have Cappy Bear in here, insane. And that's why I say put those post notifications on you guys, because this whole enclosure will most likely be closing up and crazy animals will be flying through here very, very soon. Stay tuned, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, and peace out, everybody. See you all later.